Hey guys, Sonny Bryson here, and lately I've been watching a lot of brand new spanking gurus out there talk about how to make money, and all you need to do to make some money is basically give me some of your money, and then I'll teach you how to make money, but on top of that, I do have to disclose that, hey, if you don't get any money from my course, that's not my fault, bro, okay? You can't sue me, I'm sorry. Like, my results are because I'm an expert. If you don't make money, that's your fault, not my fault. You can't sue me for this, okay? So, there's always a caveat to this stuff, okay? So, in this video, I'm going to be exposing some of these gurus and tell you exactly what to look for and what they're doing to actually try to make money from you. Because I guarantee, almost guarantee, if you watch, for example, my channel, or for example, Gary V's, um, Graham Stephan, me, Kevin, Nate O'Brien, all these people, you're probably seeing a lot more videos about ads showing you like, hey, here's money, buy my course, get my webinar, get a free book, get this. But at the end, there's always a paywall saying like, hey, you have to buy my course to make the ultimate amount of money. Plus, I'm going to be your mentor for an extra $100 per month. So it's totally worth it, okay? So in this video, I'm going to break everything down. But before I do, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because I've been getting comments and also DMs telling me, tell me, I got scams. I don't know what to do, so hit the like button, and this way more people watch this video, and less people actually get scammed. And on top of that, also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified, because I also do post videos every single day. So for everyone out there wondering, Tommy, why are we seeing so many people now pop up on YouTube showing me how to make money? The answer is very simple, guys, okay? YouTube ads right now are a lot more cheaper than they were in February and January because of everything that's going on right now. So basically, a lot more people are braver to basically spend more money on YouTube ads because basically, now that they're cheaper, they can actually afford to do that. And that's where you're seeing so many new gurus actually pop up out of nowhere. And every time I see one of these ads, this is my reaction, okay? I'm just like this. Here's the deal, here's what happened. Come here, come closer, 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 closer. Okay, uh, we figured out the oh, secret. Wow formula yeah to find mm. a billionaire y'all so you oh. better listen up because your boy big muck here gonna tell it like it is check out my ride over here 200 pay day 200 pay day yeah and once i'm done guys all i really do is just grab my money buy those courses and make more money because all these courses has to be legit right now around 80 percent of these courses are complete garbage okay so here's the entire blueprint to how they operate and how everything works here okay guys the entire point is this guys whenever you have a person that has a course or information to sell they need to put themselves out there to people to actually build up some rapport so what they do is they're willing to go out there and spend some money and advertisements to get their face out there and hopefully get the chance to have you go out there and buy their course and this is called a sales funnel and here's how it works okay guys they show their face to try to build rapport and then they tell you hey go over to my webinar it's a free live webinar where i'll teach you and give you a free training and this way you'll learn something and if you want to learn more then maybe you can buy my course if you want to but you don't have to if you don't want to now what this is called is basically guys First, you start with some interest, you get a prospect, and then after, you get a customer, and then finally, you get paid money. That's what they're trying to do with the entire system right here. And by the way, guys, Dan Locke himself said this, okay? Dan Locke said, I know that my webinars are not live, but I'm not going to say they're not live. Here's a video of it, okay? Can you say in the first bullet points to remind them why they should come to the live webinar? Yes. Um, I mean, from what I understand, your webinars are now not live anymore, so they are recorded. So are you open uh, up front? To Good question. Good question. Make sure the live thing I can convert, I can sell. Now you automate it, right? Now you can scale. Make sense? Yeah? Yes, it does. But once you get to the point mm. and you have an automated webinar, do you, then are you up front and say it's, it's automated? I don't. No, I don't. You give them the impression that it's not. Yeah. It's a live recorded webinar. Live recorded, I like that. <laughs> and if you ask me guys, am I mad about this? The answer is no, not really, you know. If the webinar does have some type of information, it's actually very good and it's pre-recorded, I don't care about it. But I do care about like not being told that it's not live because here I am in the chat like commenting, but it's not live, you know, so you can't really see me. It kind of sucks. It's deceiving. But if there's good information out there, then cool, whatever, okay? But I wish it was live because that's what it's supposed to be because that's what you told me, Dan. <laughs> 
So now as you guys know the blueprint and you guys know how it works, okay? You're probably wondering, Tommy, why are they willing to risk all this money and advertisements just to advertise to us, okay? Like, why do they care about us, okay? The answer is this, okay? Just by you watching my channel, I can tell you a few things about yourself that you probably think I don't know. And no, I did not watch or like take a look at your search history because if I did, I would tell your parents, okay? But the whole point is this, guys. Just by you guys watching me, I know that most likely you might watch Graham Stephan, Meet Kevin, Nate O'Brien, or for example, Dan Law, Grant Cardone, or Ty Lopez. I guarantee you know at least three of the people I mentioned out of all those people. Tell me how. The answer is, it's because the YouTube algorithm is set up this way. Now, the reason that these people, these brand new people, are willing to risk money to actually advertise to you guys is because basically they say, well, people that watch videos on finance are more likely to have money to spend about learning about finance. That's the entire point here, okay? So that's why, and that's why the old generation, for example, like Ty Lopez and Grant Cardone, these two people right here spent over probably a million dollars just on YouTube ads to try to get some interest for their courses and also sell their courses also. Now tell me, why would anyone spend so much money? To be honest, it's kind of like recycling money over and over again. So for example, so let's say for example, guys, I took $20,000 and I spent it on some advertisement here on YouTube. Now this would probably get me like somewhere around like a million expressions or so, right? So it's pretty cool, right? So just by spending $20,000, I can show my advertisements to around a million people. Now, the cool thing is this, guys, okay? Say for example, I showed my entire ad to a million people and only 1% of those people went ahead and actually bought my course, okay? So times 0 0.01, well that's going to be around 10,000. Well Tommy, that is, that's not enough people to actually buy your course. Well, if you know anything about courses, the average course might cost anywhere from $100 to 10,000 to 500 to like 5,000, they cost a lot of money. So let's say for example, that course might cost $100. So times 100, well, right then and there, guess how much money you just made? A million dollars, okay? So that's the crazy thing. So if you're showing a million people your ads and 1% of them are actually buying your course, by the way, it's a lot more complicated than this, obviously, but the point is, the amount of money you can make just by showing people your ads on YouTube is a lot. But the whole reason I'm making this video right here is for one thing. Tommy, is this bad? Is this good? Should I give these people my money or should I just keep the money to myself? The answer is very simple, but also very complicated, okay? So I'll be the first to say this, okay, guys? I bought courses in the past, for example, from Meet Kevin, a real estate course, Graham Stephan, a YouTube course, um, Grant Cardone, real estate also in his books. I also bought Ty Lopez's courses on the 66 Steps, stuff like that. I bought several courses and a lot of these courses, well, they made me money. A lot of money, okay? However, the answer is, although some courses might make you money, 80% of them are just straight garbage. So how do you know what's garbage and what's not garbage, Tommy? The answer is very simple. The way you find out is, well, something that people actually do that's not good, but they think it's actually good for them, is that most of these guys right here, what they always say is like, hey, I'm going to give you a free 30-day guarantee, so if you buy my course and you don't like it, you can just go ahead and return it. And they're hoping that most people won't really follow through and try to return it, but if you're smart, you will if the course actually sucks. So for example, every time I buy a course, I always buy it with my credit card. Now here's why, because my credit card has purchase protection, and this way, if the course is garbage, and the person does not want to refund my money, my credit card will go ahead and refund my money based on all the information I give them saying, hey, they gave me a 30-day guarantee, no questions asked, and now they don't want to give my money back. Well, hey, guess what? I'm your credit card. I'm going to give you the money back, okay? That's why I always buy courses with my credit card. So overall, guys, I'm not saying that most of these courses are garbage, but I am saying that most of them are garbage. I guess I am saying that, okay? But the point is what you want to do is if you want to buy a course, you can if you want to. And for everyone saying, Tommy, courses are scams, you don't want to buy them. The answer is, you know, you know, 80% of them are probably garbage. But in reality, that 20% of them can actually make you a lot of money. But the big problem people have is basically every time they buy a course, they don't really take action. So my whole thing is this, before I buy a course, I make sure it has a money back guarantee and this way I can get my money back and I have to worry about it. And I also try it to make sure I can actually make money from it, okay? And I remember guys, I actually bought 
bought a course from Paul Jalipsky about dropshipping on eBay and I made around $20,000 in one month. Okay, so the course was worth it. So the whole point is it all depends on the quality of the course and make sure it has a money back guarantee and this way you can get your money back no matter what. And make sure to pay with a credit card and this way you're even double secure. So in the end, they're not really scammers, but some of them do have really bad information you shouldn't be paying for whatsoever. So make sure you try to get your money back. And if you're wondering, Tommy, why do you not have your own course? The answer is I'm working on it, okay? But I wanna make sure when I do build a course, it's something that's really solid, has a lot of value, and can help you guys a lot. That's my goal, okay? So right now, all the information that I give you guys on YouTube is in around like four or 500 videos. But in the end, I wanna give you guys one full product to then give it to you guys, there you go, okay? One full product with all the answers you want without having to look through 500 different videos, okay? That is the goal. And guys, as always, comment down below and let me know which one of these ads was your favorite. Because again, I've seen a lot of them. People talking about, oh my gosh, I went to prison. Oh my gosh, like I'm still good. Like, don't worry about it. You can still trust me. Just give me your wallet. I'm like, what? Like, it's crazy, you know? But yeah, comment down below. Let me know. And as always, if you enjoyed this video right here, well, like this video. And on top of that, also, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one on one, uno uno, just DM me and I'm Tony Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch another video, and for example, how to start investing in 2020 without an upsell to a chorus. Watch this video right here. Also, look at my face right here. Tools right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.